John, firstly, your thoughts on that game? Um, it was a tough contest, which it always is against Sheffield Wednesday. They're very competitive and uh, get amongst you. I think they were a bit younger than us today um, and they showed real good energy. And certainly in the first half, we struggled to deal with that. Um, we had a lot of the ball, but they seemed to attack us too easily on the counter-attack and um, we were too open at times and it led to them having quite a lot of opportunity. Possession-wise, we probably dominated in the first half but didn't do a great deal with it. Whether you know, it'd be a defender playing it in behind for a centre forward who's come feet, that understanding or vice versa, trying to play it into their feet and they're running in behind. So you get that a little bit um, when you're putting a team together, you know, under 18 stepping up first team players stepping in sometimes it can look a little bit disjointed and it certainly did in the first half but um, on reflection the second half we've created a lot um, scored a goal from a set play could have scored a few more so I think it could have been a much more high high scoring game um, but of course it's disappointment to, con to concede a late one after you've worked hard to get back in the game like we did today. I'm glad you mentioned that second half. I thought the game started with some good intensity, but that kind of fell away quickly. But then in the second half, it felt, felt a lot better, didn't it? It did, yeah. Um, the intensity was better in the second half. And, you know, it's, it's not rocket science. The performance increases because the intensity is better. And um, we showed glimpses of quality more so in the second half. There was a few balls that got flashed across the front of the goal. Um, we had quite a few corners, quite a lot of free kicks. It was quite a lot of fouls in our final third, but I think we can do probably better with the delivery and attack the ball better. Uh, and on a different day, it could have been a different story, but um, I think Sheffield Wednesday deserve full credit today for the performance that they put in. You mentioned the chances up here, but some good saves from Tom Wilson too down that end that helped keep you in the game. Didn't That's that? right, yeah. He made one or two or even three good saves in the first half. Um, he had a quiet second half, but when called upon, he was ready. So I think Bilch was definitely one of our better performers today. A mix of first team players in the group, and as you mentioned, some younger players. How do you feel the first team players got on, and how did the younger players that kind of woven between them get on as well? Well, they come across for minutes, and they they got that that in the tank um, over the over the 90 minutes, which is important because we want them to be ready to step up whenever called upon with the first team. So that was always pleasing to get those minutes in the tank, um, and then. Some of the under-21 players performed well, others need to do better, um, but that's what you find in development football. And as long as the players um, recover properly, uh, get back on the training field over the next couple of days, and continue the development, uh, we'll be happy. Looking ahead to next week, I think it's a double game week. I think there's a game Monday and then Friday, I believe. Um, what, are you, what are you expecting from those challenges next week? Well, it'll be a physical challenge because there'll be less time to rest and recover. Um, it'll be hopefully an enjoyable game. Birmingham away is the first one uh, at the stadium at St Andrews, which you know some of the boys will be familiar with for uh, our time that we spent there for a short period. And then we've got Barnsley uh, away as well, I think. So that's always a difficult physical challenge. So it will certainly be interesting to see how the players deal with the, the two-game week. Uh, and hopefully we can start both of those games better than we did today.